Hello, good evening, and welcome back. So, China Restaurant apologizes for weighing customers, which at first sight might be thought of as kind of fat shaming thing. I mean, obviously, they're not afraid of the controversy, like with the McDonald's in China, saying no to any black people coming in amidst the coronavirus pandemic. You know, you could put that down to being concerned that ethnic minorities are more concerned with being inflicted and affected by. The coronavirus, is, as we've seen, that they do have a higher fatality rate, or you could just put that down to racism from China, as they tend to express. I mean, the Uyghurs are another fine example of that, with them housing Uyghur Muslims in concentration camps and harvesting the organs of not only them but Falun Gong practitioners as well, which is kind of a sort of Tai Chi, if you will. And I understand that there wasn't nearly enough talk going on there, and. Instead of saying, "Hey Trump, we support you because you're actually going against countries that are persecuting Muslims," no, instead they're saying, "Hey Trump, we're against you because you're not allowing terrorists into our country, and you're also going against people who wish to take out innocent civilians." Well, you should be supporting them, don't you know? So instead of that, you're not going to hear anything from it. And there is a good meme going about now as well that the. Never Trumpers, or in in fact, if if you will, that people who were fully against Trump that wish to join the Democrats because of that are now so far against him that all they've got going for them are raising taxes, opening the borders, and being pro crime, <laughs> and that that seems to be their three main standpoints that they're they're going on. But back to the topic in point that. A restaurant in central China has apologized for encouraging diners to weigh themselves and then order food accordingly. This is not like the one in Wuhan, which is the N plus one, which is to say, if you have a group of five people, then you only order four dishes. If you're four, then you order three, and if you're on your own, then you get an oxygen gateau, and that's <laughs> all that you would be entitled to. No, but the idea is a campaign against food waste. It's their Empty plate policy, and you might be wondering, well, this this seems to be perfectly acceptable. I mean, we're all against food waste. Obviously, we've got more than enough food to feed the entire world, and yet some people are starving. Therefore, if we could just give them the excess food, then everybody would be eating enough. Which, on its surface level, is true, but unfortunately at that point it just comes down to the the standards of food at which you will accept and then people often buying more than they need to at which point you should just take care of your finances and your budgeting on a personal level but this of course comes from a communist country and by saying that what i mean is that it comes from centralized planning that means that the government tells everybody what to do, and Xi Jinping has noticed that because of the coronavirus pandemic and their shoddy engineering with their dams that is now flooding local towns and cities because they can't contain the excess water and they're concerned about their dams collapsing and causing all sorts of more damage and, of course, loss of electricity as well, that they're lowering crop yields. All the fields are being flooded, which leads to lower crop yields and less food for everybody else to eat. And it is because of that he's trying to implement policies around the country to say, "Well, hey, before we have to go to forced rationing and not allowing people to get enough food because we literally can't grow it enough, and we're not going to admit defeat by importing in food because." He knows that the leader of China is always in a continuous power struggle. That if he shows any sign of weakness whatsoever, he will be taken over.、Uh, and he's got <laughs> enemies within the CCP because of that, of course. That everybody is being opportunistic and looking for any signs of weakness or faltering in order to take him out. And I think Deng Xiaoping was a great example of that from the Tiananmen Square massacre. That that is just how they do things. Might is right. That his response to the food shortage has been to try to implement more policies nationwide in order to prevent it from being a problem、um, 
in a, in a larger sense. And so what this request to Ant did, after being indoctrinated fully in the CCP way of doing things, was to try and say, hey, we're going to be useful to the government, and in doing so, of course, we're going to be helpful to everybody else in our society and everybody else across the nation, because how could the government ever make a mistake? And therefore, that is what they did. They tried to say, well, you'll weigh yourself, and therefore you'll be suggested a particular dish based on the amount that you weigh. And that had backlash, even domestically, from Weibo, which is their version of WhatsApp. Although, of course, if you look at Weibo and WeChat, you can do a heck of a lot more than what WhatsApp allows, as in booking flights, accommodation, aircraft, travel, all that kind of things, you can do through just one app. And th that is what they use for their social credit scores as well. So as they say, the restaurant said it was deeply sorry for its interpretation of the National Clean Plate campaign. Our original intentions were to advocate stopping waste and ordering food in a healthy way. We never forced customers to weigh themselves, it said in an apology posted online. And President Xi Jinping ignited the campaign this week, calling the levels of national food wastage shocking and distressing, which is his way of saying, we failed as a government, but we're going to blame you as the people, because that is what they always bloody do. And yes, they say president, but he is dictator. Why do I say that? Because all the elections are rigged, and he's removed term limits. So he's president for life, or as Chris Chavel from China Uncensored says, presitator. A cross between a president and a dictator. So following Mr. Xi's message, the Wuhan Catering Industry Association urged restaurants in the city to limit the number of dishes served to diners, implementing a system where groups have to order one dish fewer than the number of diners. <laughs> works okay in groups, otherwise, how about no? And also works for yourself if you wish to be thrifty. If you do, order appetizers instead of mains. Stay TV also criticised live streamers who feel themselves eating large amounts of food. So yes, it has become a problem where they're trying to criticise even the minutiae, that nobody will get away from it whatsoever. And if you really want to get rid of food wastage, then maybe you'll also be concerned about restaurants themselves. Or, if you wish to say to restaurants, you'll get bonuses or incentives for not having any food waste, then by all means, go ahead that way. They'll be serving fewer people, though, if you wish to go down that route. Or, better yet, just be honest and transparent from the first step and say, this is the situation that we find ourselves in. Therefore, if you're able to grow food or find a way to import it or sell it, you'll be able to generate a far greater profit, which is called predator pricing, until, of course, everybody else figures out the same thing and the prices quickly become non-predatorial. But <laughs> that's just capitalism, so I don't see them embracing this anytime soon. And... As always, let me know what you guys think down below. Always interested to hear what you guys have to say about these things. And until next time, have a good one.